go. So for the final time this year, we're going to leap into doing some Dream Team playthroughs. Um, so we're going to look at the matchup that I completely ignored because it was myself and JC. And yeah, we're going to start with JC's, which is Resmando. And this is the one that I can talk about uh, the judging for, because even though I wasn't a part of it, I, that judging has happened, it has finished. And so we have some results, we can talk about what judges liked, things that they maybe felt one course did a little bit better than the other. Um, I have to say both, this matchup was really, really tight, even maybe the final score didn't quite show it. On all of the judges' boards it was like one either way. Um, out of 25 is how we're, kind of, we're judging this one. Um, so I'm, these aren't necessarily going to be as full playthroughs maybe as some of the others that I've done. Um, in the sense that I'm not going through and really nitpicking because I don't don't really feel the need to as much. Um, JC knows what good was on his course, and I, I like with my own. You you kind of you kind of think your own stuff's pretty good anyway. So Resmando, and we'll start with this, and then we'll leap off and we'll do Yara. I'll upload both into YouTube, but I'm well aware that this stream is probably going to be more people just chatting about the results stream that we're going to have later. Um, so yeah, we'll leap into it. Now, first thing that strikes you about Resmando is just that picture sums up JC doing what JC does best. Like The thing that, when you're up against JC, you always worry about he's just going to do something off the wall, creative, really good, different than anything. Like He's creative in a way that I can't be and picks up new looks and things like that. So this one was based on um, a hoopy, which is match play course 6692 yards so really short and just like this is a blast to play he having played it a couple of times he absolutely nailed some of the greens did some really cool stuff with them um, all right so going to the usual sort of course info stuff and what we had for this this was um, so black tees everything default including wind is fine greens can go up to 187s but will be tough we're not doing that um, it was intended to look like the whole course has two different types of sand attempting to blend with planting. Light and heavy rough was used for bunker edges, walking paths. Like, the surfacing stuff here is really clever um, in terms of how it happens. Difficulty was easy medium, so standard CC difficulty, uh, inspired by a hoopy match club. And then his required elements were the entire course yard should be no greater than 6900, accomplish that in spades. Entire course to be contained in a 1 million yard area, so thousand by thousand eight hundred by twelve fifty etc etc and a template hole of his choice which is the fifth spirits and maiden yeah hi people so we thought jc and i thought we needed to still do these ones and it would be a good night to do it just uh kind of hype a little bit before the stream that we have going going on later hi terry lisi slotman vlad lost souls good to see all of you and i hope that you guys are going to be around for stream later should be I mean, it'll be a crazy amount of fun. Now, is chat showing on screen? Hopefully so. We'll see. Alright, straight away you notice he's done some really cool stuff with light and shadow. Um, so you've got bright sand, you've got the green, like, the colours really pop, and it's just... Yeah, his texturings worked really well, so the pine straw is tough to pull off, but... The way he's blended it with the, uh, the heavy rough te like texture choices are great. The fact that he's done this with like little brushes to make it blend in nicely. The grass choices, mixture of them. I think he's even sunken some of these grasses, which is just crazy dedication. Tree lines are lovely. The bunkers are interest interesting in terms of how they feed in. Like you could do this a little bit neater, but I know JC just does not care. Um, and I think that's one of the things that judges picked up on a little bit, but in all honesty, they absolutely loved this course. Um, it went, worked really well. The greens were the really fun thing, and for the what I think is great about these um, is almost all of the judges loved them, like and not just liked, like absolutely loved. And greens with this sort of red red sloping everywhere is tough to pull off in a way that it doesn't feel too punitive and yet still offers loads of backboarding opportunities, etc. 
they're great. So straight off the bat, we've got with this wind. I mean, you can look at how you want to come in. If we're coming straight into this, then we're going over that little spine. If we're coming in this way, we're probably hitting more at that backstop. So I guess right is maybe a little bit better, but it's not an easy tee shot. Oh, perfect to start the this off. What's on with the, going on with our school? Um, I mean, we are remote learning again. We are still waiting on whatever is going on with the exams. Don't really know. But we'll see. So we've got our backstop. Hopefully, another good swing, and we're pretty close to there. Uh, I mean, just one of the other things I know that a lot of judges commented on was how they loved the openness of this plot and just the big raking sight lines which it absolutely nailed um, certainly better than Yara did oh, this might be a bit too much two perfects in a row is just not what we're used to and yet we've hit that at the back fun little swale just like yeah. What I like about these greens as well is you, I can kind of guess, I think, where the four pins are. I think we've got one there, one there, one there. But I mean, you could be an absolute bastard and put one up there. Definitely not there, but you could just stick one right in here. Middlish, like even a pin there and there are going to play really differently. Just a lot of fun. Yeah, it's just, it is just rubbish. Um, we've got a lot of very upset and just like disappointed upper sixth and fifth form so uh, that's GCC here um, planting's good really nice Just it's just a really cool look it's the sort of thing that I cannot come up with oh, I pulled the part and we're okay Now I do remember um, we were both chatting about these courses the whole way through like we always had this fun little match up as something that we wanted to do but it was never anything we were going to really take that seriously so I remember this was the first hole JC sent me a screenshot of and just absolutely loved this planting on this side um, his mixture of grasses and things was really cool and just definitely taking a lot of the new stuff and putting it in a direction we haven't really seen before lot of fun. Um, pins at the back can be really fun. So I know there's a pin there, there's a pin on the other side of this spine that you can get to really nicely. Greens I think all drain, which like kudos to you, that's, that ain't easy. Mm. Yeah, and planting just encroaching towards the tee box as well. Openness is great on this course. I mean, I hope we're noticing that I've started off with three perfect tempos. That that is not going to continue. Uh, I think about hit one seven eight. Matty, Rhino, um, links courses with none, as in no sight lines or just no trees. No trees can work. Like I think you probably want to have a tree line somewhere just to hem it in a bit more. Go and have um, go and have a look at Ainstail. Joe and I tried to do that with pretty much no no uh, trees. Every time I've played this hole, I've ended up over here, and it, it it's not a good place to play from. See, this is cool as well because this is the sort of thing I love that JC does. And every time we've done a collab together, he will just change things and do things that I wouldn't feel are technically right, and yet they work really well. So we've got kind of holes hitting across one another. And I think this hole is my favourite on the course, coming back this way. But we kind of diagonally cross fairways, which is just really, really nicely done. And yeah, I just wouldn't conceive of doing. Sightline's beautiful. Bunker layering, so good. And the way that flag just sticks up. Love, 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 love. Make that four in a row. Jesus Christ.
Now I think originally he also had like some um, sunken dead trees back there. I'm glad you got rid of those. Texture mixing is so cool. Like so, we've got uh, maybe. I mean, it's worth counting just how many different types of textures he's got. That he's done really well. So you've got green, green fringe, fairway, heavy. So natural land with buried trees, pine straw, heavy rough placed, heavy rough no buried trees, bunker, and there's some light rough somewhere as well. It's just like this is a crazy amount of stuff going on. <laughs> we've got a f yeah, we've got a really fun stream lined up for you guys, um, and the captains don't know the result yet, which should make it even more entertaining. But I love this. Basic, you've completely baited me into a pitch. Actually, no way. I've got a lob wedge, haven't I? So yeah, pretty close. Like crazy false front. It's just a really nicely done short hole. Mm. I promise I haven't turned tempo off. This is just like unreal. Serial killer is not number one on your bingo card. I don't know what you're doing. So I think one of the things that some, like, I think a critique of both the courses from some judges was that there was a lot of width off the tee, and it wasn't necessarily like the fairways were pretty easy to hit at times. I mean, honestly, it's what we were both going for, so I think that's we're fine with that. I mean, I'm so bemused by the tempo. Like maybe this one a little bit open, but it all really ramps up near the green, doesn't it? And you've got to be so precise with this approach. Maybe bail out a little bit to the left. I mean, what I love with courses like this is that if you're putting this amount of slope onto a green, you can give people a bit more of a miss. Whereas if this was all green, it's just like target practice. It's how far left or how far right are you? basically how far off perfect whereas here if you're planning and you're slightly off left you're going to be okay because you can use this slope to go in but if you're missing a little bit too far that's going to be a nightmare chip and I just love that subtle little risk reward and I know quite a lot of the judges really did appreciate that as well tried for a fast there got it this is going pretty well Jamie, Alan, hi. Let's see how we are. I mean, again, just for anyone who's talking about sight lines, like you do not have to have a lot of trees. And what I think he's done really well that a lot of people could learn from is there aren't all of these single trees dotted around. So <laughs> I know, right, Matty? It's going really well. Um. I mean, I remember I started out doing this because you plant a hole and you chuck a tree down and it looks better. Look at the bigger impact of having no single trees dotted around and they're all just in little clumps and it just makes these big sight lines work so much better. Ah, you've come and pulled it. Oh well. It was always going to happen. Awesome. That means we get some ports as well from Jay. Alright, another shortish par 3. I mean, I guess... It, oh, so this was one of his templates, so he's maiden slash... Yeah, this is a maiden. Nasty little green. I know he's got a pin back there, which is just a hell of a lot of fun to get to. And I don't know why, but I find maidens a lot easier on the eye than a Beeritz. It's, there's something about the vertical nature of it that I find is tricky. This is a sideways beer, it's, yeah. I mean, a maiden would be the raised plateaus allowing for the front. Like It would be like more wings at the back, but I'm okay with it being called a maiden. It's the principle. 
I mean, a lovely little backstop here that you can kind of run off as well. Mm, gone a little too far. It's our first unintentional non-perfect, which is pretty crazy when you think about how bad my game is normally. So is everyone still saying Partizan, or does anyone actually think the other team might win? I'd be interested as well to see the guys who aren't involved in this contest, where do you think this is going? Um, oh, love this hole. This is a great drivable par 4 in that there's no water. There's, like, there's nothing other than just a mental green complex with like four very dicey pin positions. But if I am landing up here... And what this is great at doing is just making you be really, really precise with driver if you are going for it. Piffy, this is not the pre-show. We are. Uh, JC reminded me that I hadn't yet streamed Yara and Resmando, and it seemed like a nice night to do it. Now I think for these pins, I don't really mind going right because I'm going to have that backstop as long as I'm not left. Left is going to be dead. Right's okay. So I'm okay with that. If we'd hit a fast, it was great. That's all right. Beautiful, right, Matty? That is exactly how we go. <laughs> yeah, this has started out like amazingly well. Then again, I also haven't played this game since I cleared out a shed load of viruses on here that were slowing the whole PC down, so I wonder whether that's part of it. Who knows. Okay, what are we playing with here? So, obviously big left to right slope, which you can see is going to kind of separate the wide fairway a little bit more. I don't know if I've really got a preference where I want to be. If I come in from this side, that gives me a bit more of a sheet towards the pin. I probably want to be left. I see. Good luck, Dan. Oh, that's not a fast I wanted. This could be... I mean, and this brings me to the thing I really enjoyed playing this course more than probably... I won't say any other, but most was the amount of recovery opportunities you had on this course. Just when you went slightly wrong, you always had a chance with these green slopes to f just run it off something and get pretty close. Mm, not really sure if that's going to be the club or not. Let's give it a go. Oh, it doesn't do lie grid on pine straw either. Did not know that. Oh, I needed way more than Get off the green. Well, this will be interesting. Okay, we got some options. Got some options. I mean, the silly part is to go up here and try and half pipe it towards. Or we can go a bit more up this side and just bring it in that way. I think that's probably the sensible play. Love having options on a putt. I just you get it a lot on Lynx courses in the UK and just you don't see it as much. Yeah, it needs to go a bit higher or a bit faster. That's okay, we get away with a par. And like I say, that's where you know he nailed the greens when you can it's like not a choice of which way is gonna lead me 
slightly less far away, you've got a chance at getting close to the hole with them. Again, a great green. I said I'm not totally sold on the bunkers up close. From a distance, those look amazing. Those look. Yeah, it just doesn't quite translate as well in game. Now, I don't know where. I guess I can land it just over the bunker if I want. Little swale in front. Sculpting's low key great. I really good. And so, so for those of you not familiar with much of JC's stuff, he won World Cup last year with La Bombia Bluffs. This and Walcott Hills are by far and away superior courses in the sense that La Bombia was just. JC doing fun stuff and not really, like by his own admission, not really thinking about the strategy as much. Now he started to put strategy in. He's super creative and he just comes up with some really good stuff. It's still just a blast to play. Yeah, both of them are great. Walcott is like the best 50 play course you will ever find, maybe even less. Also, we've had a ton of short holes so far, and I don't really feel that any of them have played the same. And they haven't been pushovers either. Could it have maybe used a longer four? I think at this point, maybe. Particularly as you're no, trying to get the... Um, trying to get your ground game to work a little more. Uh, it's hard to do that with just pitches the whole time. And I think that was slightly reflected in some judges' comments where it's one of those courses where you look for the angle plays. You'll be I definitely think you'll be rewarded if you're looking for the angles and distances. But it doesn't it's a kind I guess kind of a comment on T on TGC tours and how we view courses in that if you're not in position Z, people maybe don't see the advantage as much. It's not, but it can be played as such, and I think that's really great great in terms of how it's designed. Mm. That's a racy part. Ah, knew that was quick. Wanted to be below the hole, wasn't. Yeah, that was never a good part. There you go, Matty, that's the Ben you know. Still, really solid front nine. Take that all day. 10 is a tough hole, and 10 I love because it's particularly tough on this driver. If you get 10 downwind, you're looking at hitting a 3-wood and probably not quite clearing the bunker, and driver definitely going through. <laughs> oh, Matty. Yeah, 10 is also an absolute bastard of a green. I feel like this green's a touch too big, if I'm honest. But crazy, crazy wild. And like... It fits, it's a quirky golf course. But I do like this in that I feel, every time I've played this, I feel like I have to hit a partial drive. I, I probably could have hit a full one from that, but... Oh, okay. I mean, going for this seems like the uh, like 100% the most stupid option. I don't think I need to loft, actually. feel like you got to though. Yeah, it's great. And the bunker looks so so good. Lovely little town down below just 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 cuz. Oh, we got the shot, Matty. Oh, will you look at this? Get up a little. Ah, oh, shame. That just needed a little bit of loft and we were good. Honestly, Matty, me neither. Tell you what, I like this part as well, because I could play straight over the break, or we can try and go this way. It's whether you try and hole it, or do you go for an easy two part. If we play it over here, it's definitely coming down those slopes and going really close. Mm, don't know. 
forgot yours. I think we're going to go this way. Forgot yours, the best line in the contest. Oh, we've gone a little bit too fast. Uh, come back. Come on, JC. And from there we make a three pump. Yeah, or just hit a I I think the line was okay, the temp the pace on the putt was awful. Eleven's great. Just a really mean sideward sloping green. But gives us options to run it in, which we love. Even with a like relatively like low iron. Ah, oh, it's not a good shot. Still missing that side's okay. How are we doing, Wes? Now this is my favourite hole on the course. And you may remember this one crosses over with that third hole we saw earlier. It's worth noting just how well those bunkers work as well in both directions and it's just really tough to do. Alright, this one's a stunner. Big sight line, my awkward drive. Ah oh, man, sorry buddy. Where were you playing on Elite this week? Can't remember. So I think if you hit driver you have to absolutely nail your direction. We'll try and hit a little partial. Yeah, this is great. Old Sunset Field, perfect. Hey Mammoth! Speaking of Mammoth, Mammoth, this would be amazing on Kinetic. You could do all sorts of fun stuff with the greens. Oh, the slow is not what we wanted. Come on. Yeah, slightly the other side. And like you're a tiny bit off, but it's really going to gather towards that pin if we're slightly left, just slightly off on the wrong spot. Not great. Hopefully it will just roll on down. That's not awful. Hey, drives. Huh. I do not miss parts that way. Weird. It's okay, Matty. We're coming back to par. That's fine. Ooh, 13 I'd forgotten about a little bit. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, we got Yara next. That'll be like 20 over easily. I think we can just hit pretty much up this side. Again, it's going to be dependent on pin where you want to be. I think this one we want to be over here somewhere. That is an awful swing. Ooh, got very lucky. Nah, you wouldn't. When's judging, yeah, what Matty said. So in like, what are we looking at? Four and a half hours? It's going to be an absolute blast. Oh, I am so between clubs. And I, okay, it is five iron and not the hybrid. Randomly put a hybrid in the bag to try to balance out some of the gaps and not sure if it's a good move or not. Well, this is going to be a rubbish putt. And like, Scoot, you say that, but they are really playable. And the amount of once you start looking for like every every approach shot, what slope can you use to work it close? It just gets so much easier to play and like way more fun. Yeah, lag putting everything. So I mean, when we came, 
Uh, I mean, I'll talk probably more a little more about it when we get to Yara, but when I think judges came down to splitting this one, there really wasn't very much between them at all, and pretty much every judge had like one point separating them. <laughs> There's our man, AJC. And I think this one could be drivable, but you really don't want to miss this. Uh, well, I think I can probably handle a bunker shot from there. I don't really want to be missing left, I don't think. Again, great sideline. Right's fine. I'm okay with this. Well, I want it to be a bit further down. That uh, might have made a bad decision there. <laughs> yeah, they were good. We'll be getting notes to everyone. I will. I mean, it might depend on how many people do want notes. Ah, just a little bit pacey. It was a good part. Yeah, that wasn't the splash I really wanted to leave myself. I thought I'd get a little bit further down there, but I just. I mean, drivable par 4 by followed by potentially also drivable par 4. Really fun. And like, very different. This one, as long as we miss right, we're okay. It's just fun in our little fast meta. Oh, well, we definitely miss right. That's okay. Oh, this could be alright. It was a really good lap. It was a great time for a random very slow. There's our tempo, Matty. There's our tempo. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. And like the effort the judges put in is crazy. Right? Because I originally said to people they didn't need to provide notes. And yet everyone's just gone above and beyond and done loads. Love this little town that you put in. Swimming pools and everything. Gone all out. One of the bigger greens on the course. And like normally I'd be calling that a negative, that the greens are very variable in size, but here it just kind of makes sense. Eesh. Don't know about this. Oh, I knew I needed to draw it a little bit more. Get off the green. Thank you. Tempo though, seriously. So much better. So much better. And then we go 17, 18, which I remember JC was kind of deliberating on a couple of these holes. This one always felt is like a little bit tricky visually. I think that bit of fairway, like for, to my eye, maybe drops down a little too much, but it's a great hole. And I see why it does, like just to get the bunker where it wants to be. Mean green. So, this is your tough par forward on the... Yep. <laughs> no sugar needed. Not true. I like 18 a lot. I like 17 a lot. I just That fairway's always looked a little off. Ah, oh, damn, I'm in between clubs. I've got a massive gap between sand wedge and lob wedge, and it kills me at times. Please bring... There we go. That's alright. Come on, Matty. Let's do it for you. Damn it. I think the other thing... Talking just... The planting feels really just... The courses in this contest that I've liked the best are the ones where it's just a cohesive environment. And I think it totally nails that. 
there's a load of the new objects and that for a load of us at the start certainly for me was a little bit daunting that there's so many new things going on that you could use and yet they all blend really seamlessly they all feel like they belong you've gone with no underbrush which underneath the trees may have forgotten to frame 18 on the left yeah a little bit empty it's fine and then you've got to sling a cut in which all sorts of fun No, not a fast. That's all right. <laughs> How can you just forget to frame something? Oh, Yara is nowhere near my favourite from the contest. Like you know how it is. You build a course and you immediately pretty much hate it. Um. My my highest rank course I can I can say is Lost Preserve. Followed, like hopefully no spoilers because you would have seen my playthroughs. Um, Lost Preserve and then Chikoni was my second. But there was but equally there's a bit of a caveat there in that there are some that <laughs> really does take skill. I mean this is great. Favorite it, give it a five star rating, it's quality. Play this course, 101 plays is just criminal. Um, man's got taste. Yeah, it should be said that I didn't draw every single course when I was judging, so there are some that you did draw, some that you didn't. So there are some really good courses that just never came my way to dig into a little bit more. Um, of the ones that I did have, those were my top two, I would say. But there's just like it's the deepest contest field we've had ever, and it's not even close. Um, Right, I'm going to cut the str like Resmando, go play it, it's awesome. Um, shit loads of fun, which is what JC does better than anything. Um, and just really great environment, greens are brilliant, but also really creative with the texture choices and things. So, we're going to cut the stream and then we're going to Yara and we'll talk through that one and I can give a little bit more insight to that. Back in one second. <laughs> 